high. I'm going to talk about back pain, seven potentially fatal causes. Your back hurts. So what? Everybody has a little back pain now and then. But what if it could kill you? Most people suffer back pain as the result of daily stresses on the structural support of the body, the bones, discs, muscles, and ligaments in and around the spine. However, back pain may be the result of other abnormalities within the body, several of which can cause death, whether in minutes or years. It's wise to think twice when your back starts hurting. Was it too much yard work over the weekend or perhaps something else? Here are 7 potentially fatal causes of back pain. 1. Aortic aneurysm. The large artery that carries blood away from the heart sometimes weakens with age and balloons outward, like a weak spot on a tire. If the aorta ruptures, massive internal bleeding may occur, sometimes causing death within minutes. If the vessel is rupturing quickly, the pain is usually intense and accompanied by other symptoms such as weakness, abdominal pain, and faintness. If you have a strange back pain, different than your usual pattern, it's best to consult your doctor. If the pain is abrupt and severe, call 911. 2. Cancer and tumors. Both cancer originating in the bones of the back and cancer that spreads to the back from another location commonly cause back pain. A benign tumor of the spinal cord and vertebrae may also produce pain, as the enlarging mass presses on sensitive structures. The pain may occur with movement or at rest, but tends to worsen over time and may be severe. 3. Infection. When bacteria invade the deep structures of the body, such as the bones, discs, and spinal cord, serious infection may ensue. These infections are fairly uncommon and may go unrecognized until the process is quite advanced. Kidney and lung infections may cause back pain as well, and are often dismissed as nothing more than a back strain. 4. Pancreatitis. When the pancreas becomes inflamed for whatever reason, the enzymes that are designed to help digest your food may begin digesting your own body instead. Usually this produces nausea, loss of appetite, and abdominal pain, but may produce back pain as well. Pancreatitis may cause internal bleeding, dehydration, elevated blood sugar, electrolyte imbalance, dehydration, and death. 5. Penetrating ulcer. Just as pancreatic juices may eat through the pancreas and other abdominal structures, so may stomach acid burn a hole through the duodenum or stomach. When this happens, internal bleeding occurs and the stomach contents spill into the abdominal cavity, where they cause further destruction and infection. The pain of an ulcer may be felt in the abdomen, the chest, or the back. 6. Inflammatory Bowel Disease When the colon is inflamed the pain may be experienced in the abdomen, pelvis, or back. Inflammation may cause the bowel to perforate, similar to an ulcer, or cause a bowel obstruction. Either of these conditions is potentially fatal. Seek professional care for any abdominal pain accompanied by back pain. 7. Pulmonary embolism. Blood clots usually form deep inside the legs, where they may cause leg swelling, discomfort, and sometimes redness. When a clot dislodges and moves upward through the heart into the lungs, chest pain and or back pain may occur, usually along with difficulty breathing. If the clot is large, it may obstruct air exchange and result in too little oxygen in the blood. 
The above examples illustrate that not all back pain is a simple matter, fortunately, all of these conditions are fairly rare. If you found your symptoms on the list, seek prompt medical attention. On the other hand, if you have the same back pain that you get every time you weed your garden or mop the floor, take an aspirin and call your doctor in the morning. Copyright 2010 Cynthia J. Kolka, M.D. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information. Bye.